Hey everybody, it's Matt again for God and Gears. And today is gonna to be episode 176. And I'm gonna talk about the rapture of the church. Um, God's church and, and God's saints, okay? These are the people that put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of, forgiveness of sin. So those are the ones, whenever Jesus comes back for the second coming, those are the people that are going to be going up with them. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and read 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verses 50 through 52. It says, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. And then in verse 52, it says, In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. So Paul was telling the Corinthian church, and he was telling us, you know, flesh and blood, it's not going to inherit the kingdom of heaven. <clears throat> you know, one day we're going to all die, and... Our soul is going to go to one of two places, either heaven or hell. Um, if we've trusted Jesus for the forgiveness of, forgiveness of sins, um, you know, we're going to be changed. We're going to receive a spiritual body. Um, if we reject Jesus, um, we're going to have our physical bodies and be cast into hell. So <clears throat> that's what we don't want. Paul also says in verse 52, he says, in a moment, okay? Um, the Greek word for moment, okay, that's atmos probably where they get the word atom from, but it's believed to be the smallest particle of matter, all right? So the second coming of Christ, it's gonna be very sudden um, without notice, okay? So we should be abiding in him at all times, okay? <clears throat> also it says in verse 52, at the last trump, okay? This isn't referring to the last of the seven trumpets in the book of Revelation, okay? This is um, an, an angelic trumpet sounding that we're gonna hear. So I'm gonna flip over also to 1 first, first Thessalonians <clears throat> chapter four and verses 16 through 17, let me read these. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. <clears throat> then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. You know, this is going to be the greatest event since the resurrection of Jesus. And if we're saved, the Bible says that we're going to be forever with the Lord. And, and this is the hope that we have. <clears throat> and, I, and I say almost every week, you know, this is the hope that we should be sharing with people. Um, because, like I said, there's... It's getting bleak out there. So we want to share this, this hope and this, this good news. I'm going to have a word of prayer and then talk about the car. And then I'm going to give you a thought to uh, think about whenever we close here. Dear Lord, thank you for your word, Lord, and the, the truth that's in it, Lord. Um, one day the, the trumpet's going to sound and we which are alive are going to be caught up together with you, Lord, if we've put our faith and trust in you. We're so thankful for that, Lord. We're just thankful for the hope that you give us. <clears throat> so I pray you be with this uh, video. Help it to be a blessing to people, Lord. Help people just to humble themselves and, and come to you as Lord, as our personal Lord and Savior. And uh, just thank you, Lord, for that we're able to even do this. We are just grateful. We're not worthy at all, but we're thankful that we can do it. And uh, just be with us the rest of the night. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. <clears throat> so, all right, last week I was welding up the floor and I have that pretty much done. I have a couple little spots I gotta to touch up yet. And then a little bit more grinding I gotta do in there and then I gotta get underneath the car and um, I wanna support my floor support. I gotta jack that up a little bit and uh, finish welding that where I have the plug welds. So that's, that's looking really good. <clears throat> and then after I do that, I'm gonna go ahead back and start the next uh, wheel well passenger side wheel well, and then still keep working everything like I did on this side here uh, to finish up the floor in the back and the quarter panel. But I also got a little more fabrication up here on the A-pillar because I was too cheap to buy a new one. So, but that's another story. Um, <clears throat> so I want to thank Stace for uh, doing the videos. I want to thank everybody just for watching, uh, supporting the channel. 
But here, here's the thought that I want to leave you with, okay? The people that are left behind whenever the rapture happens, um, you know, the, the world is going to be in such a chaos that no one has ever seen ever before. Um, and what is the world, how is the world going to explain that? What is the world going to say to the people who are left behind? Um, millions and millions of people are going to just be gone, vanished. And so if you're left behind, um, how is the world going to explain that? <clears throat> so just ponder those things. Um, have a good week and we'll see you next week.